Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So before I start, can I just apologise about the lighting? It's Easter Sunday and it is raining a lot, so it's too dark to film without this light on. So I apologise for the lighting, but anyway, so as all of you know, I went and saw the amazing Spider-Man 2 on Saturday. Yeah, so this is going to be a basic review on the film and what I thought. Don't worry, I won't give away any spoilers, but later today I will be uploading a spoiler review where I can go into more depth about the film. So let's get this review started. Let's just say, wow, whether or not I can say this film is better than the first one, it's hard, really, I don't know. It was so cleverly done. I mean, you've got like, obviously Green Goblin, Rhino and Electro all put into the film really cleverly and it's just all thought through and it's so good. There are lots of like, they have an equal match of emotions. There are like sad times, happy times, really funny bits and serious bits and that. And it's really enjoyable to watch. I did find that it kind of was, it was like two and a half hours. Cause you see like it'd come to a bit, I'm like, it should have like finished by now. When's it going to end yet? You know, and then like even when it finished, they had actually crammed quite a lot into this film and it was kind of rushed in a way, even though it was already really long. But apart from that, it was, it was really, really good. I can't get over it it was just oh it's oh, it's really hard to want review without giving away any spoilers oh my god but yes it was it was an amazing film you will all love it and you have to go see it downside there was no post credit mid credit end credit whatever you want to call it scene to do with spider-man instead they showed a clip from x-men days of future past I was really excited for this, but yeah, no, literally, I'm not going to go into the depths, I'll save that for the spoiler video, but it made no sense. What they showed was pretty cool, but they just like, they, it seems as though they just went, hmm, okay, we've got this clip, one minute clip, all the CGI and effects are done, so let's just bung this in at the end of Spider-Man, job done. Yeah, it didn't really make sense, so although it was good, I watched it and afterwards I was like, what? <laughs> what just happened? What was going on? So that's the downside to that, but it's still X-Men Days of Future Past clip, which is really awesome. Nowhere near as good as the other one that was, um, that we saw at some point, um, of like the battle with the Sentinels and that, that was, I loved that clip. So yeah, it wasn't that good. It was actually quite short. I mean, in all honesty, before the film started, they showed the um, X-Men Days of Future Past trailer. It was the um, new one that came out recently with actually bits from the other two also added in. I swear that trailer alone was longer than the clip they showed. So that was a bit disappointing, but this isn't about X-Men. It's about the Spider-Man film, which was just so good. I don't know what else to say without giving away spoilers, but it was like... The plot was great, the characters were great, it was so good, like, and like, it wasn't like instantly the whole, oh, he's the villain, you really hate him, because like, you need, you can't just have a villain and they can't make you hate him. To have like, sympathy for him always makes it better, like with Loki, I had to bring in Loki, as you see, I can, I, I really like Loki, but yeah, you always feel sorry for him and that. Same with Electro, um... You felt really sorry for him at the start of the film, but then by the end of it, when he's really evil, he wants to kill Spider-Man, you start, you're like, oh, I did feel sorry for him, but he wants to kill Spider-Man. That is not good. <laughs> Nobody kill Spider-Man. <laughs> so, you know, but, so you had a lot of feelings towards Electro, who was really awesome. Jamie Foxx was great as him, and then, of course, Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man himself, as Peter Parker, he is perfect for the role, he is amazing at it and like 
he makes us laugh all the time. It's, it's great. And then Emma Stone as Gwen is awesome as well. I love Gwen so much. And um, the story is really based around um, their relationship quite a bit. And that was really interesting to see. So yes, Amazing Spider-Man 2, amazing. Really, if I had to star wise, I'd probably give it about four out of five stars, I'd say. It was that good. So you definitely have to go and see it. So I will see you guys later today with my spoiler review. Um, and if you haven't seen the film, then obviously don't watch that. In which case, I will see you guys next week. Bye.